Luck was on my side. Moved in right in on a bedded caribou. It was the young bull. The bull I figured was with the two mature bulls. He was at 60 yards and hadn't even seen me get into place. So instead of rousting him up, I just got into a good shooting position and waited him out. Waited the other ones out, figuring if he was there, the other two mature bulls were there, and sooner or later, they were gonna have to get up. One is a small one up here. It wasn't one of the two big ones. Now, I did see a big one go across the lake. So I'm thinking there's two, one more big one at least in here. There's, there's caribou right there. Two bulls. They're right there. If I get up to that rock, I should have a vantage point. Last day, I had two caribou out in front of me. All I had to do was just a, a little bit of that old prairie crawl to get into shooting position. And that's what I did. I hit the ground, got out of sight, low, had plenty of rocks. I mean, it was just perfect. Plenty of rocks to crawl up and work in between. Cover was good. I had plenty of terrain to work with. And I love terrain when I'm on a stalk. I got up to a rock that just couldn't have been a more perfect shooting bench. I made it a little bit better because I slid my backpack up on top, settled in, and watched what was happening. Now the young bull, he'd come out first. He'd give me plenty of opportunity to shoot him, but I'd gotten a glimpse of the other one and I knew he was better. Seconds ticked by, probably it was minutes, but there I saw the tops of that bigger bull coming. He was working his way through those big rocks right in to a perfect shooting window. As that bull hit the ground, I swung over to look at the next bull, and he wasn't going anywhere. The shot was mine. I had him. That's pretty. I could fill my second tag here. But that trophy right there, that's a good one. That's a good caribou. It's the last day of our hunt, and it's been a tough hunt. But at that point, I decided I didn't need to shoot another one just to say I'd shot two. So instead, I sat and enjoyed the moment. Had a downed bull in front of me, another beautiful bull out there on the tundra. Watch the other one walk away. Folks, that there is a beautiful bull. He's got pretty good tops. He's a little weak on this side, but really, really good points on this side. Look at the feet on them. That's how they traverse this rocky country. And with snow are these big, big hooves that splay out. And you see these big splayed tracks everywhere. That's what we've been looking at. Oh, man. Beautiful. They just have a beautiful coat on them. I've been in some big open country. This here is as wild as it gets. Wild, empty, desolate. It's extreme. It's, it's hard country to hunt. We've had some tough weather, high winds. Today we're fighting winds again. But it's been a good hunt. <laughs> You never get lost in the woods, do you? Hey, me neither, at least not that I admit. Of course, the best thing to take with you so you never get lost is a GPS. This Garmin Oregon here, super great detailed maps. Not only can you mark where your camp is, the trailhead, your truck, but you can also track your route, how far you've went, and importantly, how high you've gone in altitude, your ascension. Because when it's dark and you need to come down at so many thousand feet, you need to hit that trail precisely. Units like this, they do it all. Even so, I still take maps along to back up where I'm going and what I'm looking at on the GPS as compared to the map. And if you're staying in a certain area, so many square miles, it's probably a good idea to take along a topographical map. It's much more detailed basically down to the square inch, shows you all the little features you need to know. Plus, look into SD cards that you can add onto your GPS to show you private and public ownership. 
It's very important because a lot of times out west or anywhere in the country, deer, antelope, or elk, they'll drift off the public and onto private. And you need to know where that line is because there always is an offense.